Hey, it's Irreverent Aegis here, and in this video I bring you another installment of the CP300 Challenge, where every member of our group is only allowed to slot 100 CP per tree in the CP2.0 system. If this is your first time watching one of these challenge videos, the idea is that we wanted to simulate what it was like being a low-level character, trying to get into endgame dungeon content as early as possible. Since the cutoff for queuing for the vet DLCs is CP300, that's where we set our mark. To go along with the theme, we also decided to play on alt tunes we were less comfortable with, and we agreed we weren't allowed to bring along any trial gear or wear any monster sets from DLC dungeons we hadn't yet completed on our CP300 teams. As an extra challenge, we had to complete dungeons in order by release date and finish their hard modes before moving on to the next DLC. In other words, an OP set like Symphony of Blades wasn't allowed until later on. In this video, we take on Fanglair hard mode. Our group comp is an Orc Nightblade tank, that's me, a Necro Healer, a Mag DK, and a Magden. The gear I'm wearing is the craftable Torix Pact with an infused weakening enchant on the Ice Staff back bar, and powerful assault with an infused crusher enchant on the Sword and Ward front bar. That super powered weakening debuff on the back bar, combined with the Nightblade's easy access to minor maim, minor protection, and major evasion, turned out to be the perfect remedy for having low mitigation from CP. For sustain, I decided to go with Engine Guardian. We ended up beating this hard mode on our fifth attempt. And the shocking thing about it was, we didn't have any problem during the second phase of the fight, or the execute phase. Our problem, surprisingly enough, was that we kept overburning the boss and kept getting multiple crystals on each of our first four attempts. We just weren't paying attention, we figured there's no way we can overburn this boss because our CP is so low. Well, turns out we still did. So, once we got to the execute, it actually went very smoothly, surprisingly smoothly, considering all the things that were going on and the low CP that we had. While I have extensive tanking experience on a variety of classes, I had never really played on a Nightblade tank extensively prior to this hard mode. In fact, the only hard modes that I had done on this team were the ones that I had to do in order to get to Fanglair, since we're going in order. There's no better way to learn about a tank build than to put yourself through some of the hardest content there is. And Fanglair, even though it's one of the earlier DLCs, still can pose a challenge for several different reasons. That gave me the opportunity to use a variety of different skills and really learn what the benefits and drawbacks of a Nightblade tank are. So I want to go over this. This boss fight is a very selfish fight, as you are on your own most of the time. As the tank, your first job is to survive and hold aggro. This is no small task in this hard mode in particular, especially at low CP, so I got to experiment with a selfish skill line. While the Nightblade tank is pretty robust, you have to have a very active rotation and good situational awareness to succeed with it. The self-healing is very weak. Although Dark Cloak is a really good ability, as it gives you major resolve, minor protection, and a tank level hot, it is expensive and it has to be cast every 8 seconds to maximize its benefit. And since the heal is a heal over time, you don't get that burst you get from most other tank classes. That means for healing, you have to rely on other strategies such as using Vigor or Refreshing Path or, heaven forbid, trusting your actual healer. But Nightblade tanks also have amazing damage mitigation, so you shouldn't need to heal as much. They have easy access to Major Evasion, Minor Maim, Minor Protection, and Minor Cowardice, which I don't use here. And of course, I also use that Super Powered Weakening enchant. So the damage I took, even from the heavier attacks, was significantly reduced, and the burst heal is less necessary. The damage from this fight mostly comes over time anyway, and not from big hits, so the knife blade overall performed pretty well. The effect of needing to keep up so many abilities and roll dodge whenever the scarabs spawn, or when you get immobilized by adds, however, is you use up a lot of resources. My group went into this fight just after Zoss fixed the block glitch. So I still had block cost reduction glyphs on my jewelry, but I really would have benefited from more magicka recovery or even potion cooldown enchants. You'll see that I run out of resources on several occasions during execute, but managed to survive by switching bars appropriately, so I could keep up block. A couple other things that I chose to include on my bar were refreshing path. That was in case I needed major expedition to get to a gold circle on time. You'll see that I did cast it on at least one occasion, and it did save me from not making it there in time, which would have been an instant death. 
I also had on mass hysteria for an easy fear of the scarabs when they spawned. So whenever that AoE started growing underneath me, I would roll dodge and cast mass hysteria, fearing them for several seconds, allowing me to get away, and avoid the extra damage that I would take from getting fractured by them. Overall, I managed to survive the entire fight, which was kind of unexpected for me considering my lack of Nightblade tanking experience, but I do have to give props to the healer in our group for pulling off a couple of clutch wrenches as well, enabling us to eventually finish off the coup. With all that being said, I hope you stick around to watch the rest of this Fangler hard mode in the CP300 challenge. If you like this video, please give it a like, or even leave a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe as you'll see more content like this, as well as non-traditional tank builds, as well as guides on how to complete various dungeon hard modes. If you're interested in my CP allocation for this fight, again it's 100 per tree, stick around to the end or click to the end as I show my CP distribution.